we're looking at a map of a park that has circular paths and based on some information given we're to find the distance along the darkened path from point A to point B. First we'll move our diagram over so we have some room to work and then we're going to mark in some distances that are easy to mark in based on the information given. And then we're going to start with the first quarter circle, a quarter of the inner circle with radius 10. We remind ourselves that pi times the diameter is the circumference, so we want to take a quarter of the circumference. That's why we use 0.25. And if the radius is 10, the diameter is 2 times the radius, or 20. We do 0.25 times 20, and we get 5, and we leave it in terms of pi for now. So that's 5 pi. We mark that in red and write it at the bottom. Then we look at the green segment. Clearly 10 meters long, we add 10 and write it in green at the bottom. Now a quarter of the middle circle. The formula for circumference is the same. The diameter of the middle circle is 40 because the radius was 20. We want a fourth of that. A fourth of 40 is 10. We leave the pi for now. That's 10 pi. We write it in blue to keep track. We have another segment. We use purple. It's clearly 10 meters long because the width of each one of these rings is 10. These are called concentric circles, by the way. And we finally have a fourth of the largest circle. The formula is the same. The radius is 30, so the diameter is 60. A fourth of 60 is 15. We leave pi for now. We have 15 pi. We write it in orange. Next, we move our expression up to the top. You could get your calculator out right now and type it in, but a lot of us like to simplify expressions, and that can be simplified to 30 pi plus 20. Now, since we're rounding to the nearest whole number, there's a lot of different approximations for pi, which will get you the same whole number when rounded. I'm going to use 3.14, and I'll get this number, 114.2. Rounded to the nearest whole number, 114 meters, the answer to this week's problem of the week.